it's Michelle Sturgeon with Come Stamp With Me coming to you from Ontario, Canada and this is the next video in my Two for Tuesday series. Yes, it is Thursday. Um, I was having mucho technical difficulties on Tuesday and couldn't get to the video um, up and I was actually having issues with the video so I scrapped it and I'm starting over. So sorry we're two days late but it is my Two for Tuesday. We'll just pretend it's Tuesday. They both start with T. Um, so today's video is going to concentrate on the new stamp set called Wonderfully Wicked. And I'm also going to be using the Stylish Scroll Embossing Folder, which is also brand new in the Spectacular Bash Bundle. Um, oh, I forgot one thing. I gotta go get it. I got, you got to see a back of me there. And these guys, these are the Monster Bash enamel dots. We're going to be using those. And um, what else, what else, what else? Um, we are using uh, a bunch of circles from the Stitch to Shapes die set. And we're also using this die in particular from the um, Foliage Frames die set. All right, and I will have all the information up on my blog when I do my blog post. So this is one card we're making in some sepia tones, some browns, and, and then this is the other one we're going to be making. All right, so let me go ahead and flip you down. Now I've done a lot of pre-cutting and stuff already so that I don't have to go back and forth to the big shot. So we'll start with this one. I've got all my pieces here down a little bit more and I need some scissors because I do like to flag my stuff so I've already cut my paper and I'm going to I'm going to do it like this I fold it like this I don't press to make a seam I just fold it and then I get a perfect little flag there um, oh before I do any of that I actually want to stamp To. So I'm going to figure that this is going to go about here. So I'm going to use spiderweb from the stamp set. And go bottom and top there. There we go. You can see that we're in frame. Perfect. And then I will glue my DSP from the Halloween paper, the Monster Bash Suite. I'm kind of thinking I wish I would have gotten the little dudes. I might order that stamp set, I'm not sure yet. I love Halloween, but I don't really send out a lot of Halloween cards because there's not a lot of people that celebrate it the way I do. All right, and then I've already cut this out in basic black, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. Go right there. I love this die. I use this die for a lot of things. All right, now I've got this piece cut out of the same paper and I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna kinda of fold it and then cut my flag off. There we go. And then glue that down. All right, oops. Make sure that it's the right way. We don't want our skulls and poison bottles to be upside down. All right, now, where is my Very Vanilla? Okay, so on Very Vanilla cardstock, I'm going to take my kitty cat, I'm gonna stamp my kitty cat out, and then I'm gonna be fussy cutting the kitty cat, because I'm crazy. And then I'm going to stamp this guy, and he gets punched out with one and three quarter inch punch. So stamp first, punch out, and he will get glued directly onto one of the uh, circles that I cut out with the stitch circle, circle die. Fortunately, you don't see the stitches, but that's okay. And he's, that piece is going to get popped up, and I like to do it in a little triangle. Put my dots in a little triangle there, it gives it nice stability. Okay. 
Okay, and he's going to get popped up right there. All right, now I'll take my paper snips and cut out this kitty. So, yeah, this will take me a minute. Fussy cutting. I'm so, we're so used, we're spoiled having matching dyes, you know, when you're so used to it. Now, if I was making a bunch of these, I would use my, I would stamp it and then use my scan and cut to cut them out. But I'm only doing this one right here so I can cut these kitties. I'm just cutting. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm almost done. Just talk amongst yourselves. That was uh, Mike Myers' character from Saturday Night Live, in case you didn't know. Coffee talk. Anybody remember that? Just me? My friend Samantha would remember it if she's watching. Sam, if you're watching, coffee talk. And then the hard part going all around his little tail. I don't even know if I'm in camera. You could be just staring at this card. This is a fun video so far. Really hope she continues to just keep talking and we don't see anything. In hindsight, it would have been great had I already fussy cut him. <laughs> okay, there we go. It's done. That was entertaining though. No, it wasn't. All right. There, so I put around his head, I've got a dimensional, but the rest of his body can be glued. So I'm going to glue him just above the Happy Halloween, and then his head will be stabilized there. And then I'm going to take one of the birds from the enamel dots. I like this guy right here. Take him okay, and put him down, kind of like... I want to make kind of want to make a triangle looking I don't want to cover up the Halloween too much I want people to still be able to read it why does the phone always ring when I'm in the middle of a video that is my friend Sharon I will call her back okay now I am going to add some, one, two, three, four, five. I don't even know if we still sell this stuff, but I love this stuff, this little, this glitter. We may not even sell this anymore, and if we don't, I apologize. Um, I'm using the Lawn Fawn Liquid Glue because I am out of time. Well, first of all, it is my favorite glue. I'm going to plug it. Lawn Fawn, the Lawn Fawn liquid glue is my favorite. Stampin' Up! doesn't sell it. We sell the uh, Tombow. Tombow glue is still good. Um, here we go. This. Ah, I put my finger on the dot. Don't put your finger on the dot. There. I love these gold things. A little bit of gold. Add a little bit of sparkle to the card. So, there you go. Happy Halloween! Excellent. Now we shall move on to the wicked good tab. Have a wick. I, I hear, I honestly, I hear Boston. Whenever I hear the word wicked, I hear Boston. So we are going to do some sponging on this. So this is pumpkin pie. And, ah, scared me. And I'm going to use, so I took one of the our sponges and I cut, I always cut the sponges in four. Because then I get a nice sponge. I've seen people, they have this this thing where they, they have like paper clips or whatever on there. It saves their fingers, but I'm not that smart. So I'm just going to rub around it. Gent gently at first because I, I don't want it, I, I want a gradient. I don't want it too dark all over so I want some places to be light and then some places to be darker so I'll press harder in a couple of places there there we go just like that and that will get glued onto my going gray card base There we 
go. All right, then I've taken some more of the DSP from that spectacular. I love these bats. There was a stamp set that was out last year with the bats that I still really, really like. And uh, I think they would go good together. If you've got last year's bat set, it would look good with this. Just saying. All right. Now I am going to take my spider web again. I really like the spider web. And I'm going to stamp that on my little circle that I've already pre-cut from the um, circle shapes that I already showed you. And now here comes the really fun part. Where is my spider? Spider, here you are. I'm going to put the spider in my Versamark. And he's gonna go about here. And I'm going to take, this stuff is called Shimmer Black Stampin' Emboss Powder and it's available in the regular catalog. And it's going to go on that spider. And it's going to get heated. Oh. Do you know what? There's a mark. There's something stuck on my spider's body so it didn't stamp properly. I don't like that. I I have a I have a second one. Yay. Um so again, where's my black? Right here. Spider web and the spider. There's nothing on there. Nope, he looks good. There we go. That's much better. Yeah, put the this shimmer black embossing powder is so cool. It's got a little bit of purple in it. It's purple and shimmery. I should have buddied that first. I have a, uh, an embossing buddy. I should have buddied it. Use your, use your embossing buddy and then you won't get little itty bitty pits where you don't want them. All right, here I am. Okay, my, my, my heat gun doesn't reach there. So I am heating my spider. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, there we go. I like the way that spider looks. I think he's cool. Okay, so that will get glued directly. Um, I'm using liquid glue on that because I find that this nail or any any of my uh, any type of tape like that doesn't really stick well when you've got an embossed image but if you've got glue of some kind it tends to do a better job of sticking um, then I'm going to stamp my Wicked in Memento Wicked and then that will get cut out like so, and that will go, that gets popped up. I'm gonna use three pop-ups. One, two, three. There we go, that will get popped up kind of between the two papers. So you can still see a little bit of both of the papers there. I don't want to hide the spider web too much. And then I want another one of those enamel shapes. A bird again, we'll do this bird. Or maybe this bird. No, I like this one. Come back here, birdie. There we go. And he's gonna go on the end like that. And I'm going to stamp out on my gray sheet. I'm going to stamp out good time. Have a wicked good time. I can't do a Boston accent, but if I could, I'd be doing it right now. And then I'm going to cut that out. There we go. Here's the one I want. 
And then that is going to get glued on just underneath right here. So again, we kind of have the little triangle thing happening. There. Wicked good time. There we go. And there we have it. There's our two cards. Okay, thanks for watching. I know the two for Tuesday videos are a little bit long. I try to do as much prep work in advance so you don't have to sit through. Sorry, I had to sit through the scissor thing. But those are our two cards. I hope you enjoyed the video. And September 4th will be when you can order from the holiday catalog. If you need a catalog and you don't currently have a demonstrator, please send me an email or send me a message and I will make sure you get a catalog in the mail. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.